square dance, the Washington square dance. Republicans make up with the Democrats. Show those foreign diplomats it's a fair dance. The Washington square dance. The rules are the same as cricket, golf, or squash. No fair cheating, cause the Washington Square Dance is square. Bow to your partner, bow to your corners. Dance till your cheeks are red as a rose. But try not to step on anyone's toes. Now duck for the oyster, dig for the clam. Duck for the oyster, dig for the clam, but do your digging for Uncle Sam. And one for the money, two for the show. One for the money, two for the show, and three to get ready to go into the square dance. The Washington Square Dance. No fair cheating, cause the Washington Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, a beautiful city whose principal product is politics, and people always poke fun at politicians. It's an occupational hazard. <laughs> a question. It's amazing, is it not? That the city pays you slightly less than 50 bucks a week, yet you purchased a private yacht. <laughs> I am positive you people must be joking. Any working man could do what I have done. For a month or two, he simply gave up smoking, and he put his extra pennies one by one into a, a little tin box a little tin box that a little tin key unlocks there is nothing unorthodox about a little tin box about a little tin box about a little tin box a little tin box a little tin box that a little tin key unlocks there is honor and purity, lots of security, in a little tin box. Mr. Y, we've been told you don't feel well, and we know you've lost your voice. But we wonder how you've managed on the salary you make to acquire a new Rolls Royce. <laughs> You're a clown, but I'm a crook, and I say no, sir. There is nothing in my past that I care to hide. <laughs> He's been taking empty bottles to the grocer, and each nickel that he got was put aside into a little tin box, a little tin box that a little tin key unlocks. There is nothing unorthodox about a little tin box. About a little tin box. In a little tin box. A little tin box. That a little tin key unlocks. There is honor and security. Lots of security. In a little tin box. In a little tin box. Aspires to the office of the president, it's essential that he be intelligent, honest, and forthright. But above all, he must have the one magic ingredient, a good campaign song. <laughs> Come on and row, row, row with Roosevelt on the good ship USA. Sail with Frank. I have been accused of accepting 
political contributions from questionable sources. I deny this. I have never questioned any source. <laughs> Senator, there's a report that in your district, there's a lot of crime in the streets. What do you say to that? Nonsense. That's a lie. I'll stake my reputation on that. Good. Stick them up. <laughs> the raft with Taft boys get in the winning boat the man worthwhile with the big glad smile will get the honest vote mr. congressman are you in favor of women's suffrage no anyone who makes a woman suffer ought to be locked up in <laughs> What's your uncle doing? Which one? You know, the one who was trying to get the political job in Washington. Oh, that uh, one. He's not doing anything. He got the job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what has caused this great commotion, motion, motion, now our country through? It means the ball is rolling on for Tippy Canoe and Tyler too. Tippy Canoe and Tyler too. You are telling lies about me in your newspaper, sir. Well, it could be worse, Congressman. We could tell the truth. <laughs> we must get rid of radicalism, Bolshevism, and anarchism. And while we're at it, how about rheumatism? <laughs> So keep cool and keep coolidge is the slogan of today. Keep cool and keep coolidge for the good old USA. I'm amazed that my opponent would stoop to such vicious slander to say that I kicked my baby, punched my wife, and threw my mother out of the house. I was drunk. I didn't know what I was doing. My friends, I have decided to enter this race. And as soon as I find the right hat, I'll throw it in the ring. Senator, your political opponent has accused you of name-calling. What do you have to say about that? I will not dignify such a charge as that with any reply whatsoever. Oh, I see. And if that crummy, yellow-bellied, slimy skunk does it again, I'll tell the world what a right-wing commie pinko he really is. <laughs> Let's all do, do, do it, do we? He's the man we want to win. We the man who'll do what's right. He will try with all his might for his country's calling him. Today, the voter has the advantages of many modern facilities. But years ago, when a man went to the polls, he often got confused. Has anybody got any soap? <laughs> this is a great country, a great country. So let's shout it clear and loud. Take a look in your history book and you'll see why we should be proud. Hats off to America. This is flag waving, flag waving, do you know of a better flag to wear? If this is flag
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's our show for tonight. We want to thank our guests, Al Martino, Eddie Jackson, and Sonny King. And our special guest star, Raymond Burr. May we wish you well. May the good Lord bless you. And may he always send you a happy day. Good night.